All right, this is a CNN politics article. You've all heard about this, okay? Uh, this is dated uh, May 4th today. It's been updated. And it's a CNN politics article, and it says, Pence says he should have worn a mask at the Mayo Clinic. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about this. So it says, Vice President Mike Pence said Sunday that he should have worn a mask during his visit to the Mayo Clinic last week when he toured the renowned medical facility without one, despite their policy requiring it. And there's a picture here of Mike Pence. Uh, it looks like he is doing a elbow bump uh, with a patient. Uh, the patient is masked up, it looks like. Uh, and then you've got uh, several, several other people in the background. I don't know who they are, but they're all wearing masks. And this is something that's been pointed out. It's pointed out in the, the article. So Pence said, citing how often he's been tested for the virus, Pence said during a Fox News town hall, quote, I didn't think it was necessary. But I should have worn the mask at the Mayo Clinic. The concession comes after a maskless Pence thanked workers, conferred with hospital administrators, and spoke with a Mayo Clinic employee who was donating plasma at the facility. So I guess that's what that picture was. It's the person donating plasma. So this has been a quote unquote big story. Um, I saw it without looking for it, uh, without wanting to look for it. Um, and it's been uh, quite all over the news cycle, uh, not just on CNN, but my local news station, it's been everywhere. And as you may know, I am an advocate of wearing masks in public. I am absolutely a, uh, an ab advocate of that. And I do that myself when I go out on uh, my supply runs or if I go on my walks, which I haven't been going on many walks lately because it's gotten hot in Arizona. So I need to incorporate that again. But uh, I am an advocate of wearing masks. The problem I have with this, uh, this coverage, and the way that this has been presented is the fact of the matter is, is that Mike Pence was, was going to this hospital. They say they have this policy. And I, I guess I also tried to say that they made the, the vice president aware of this policy and he just ignored it or, or, or whatever. And I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know exactly what happened. There's some back and forth about exactly what was going on. But the fact of the matter is, I feel that this is incredibly, uh, this is an example of hypocrisy in the media. Because literally, just I think what, a week ago, week and a half ago, numerous uh, governors, in fact, we covered this on our last show, which states are requiring masks. And I will tell you, I have looked at many images and also uh, video of many of these governors making public announcements with, with the press uh, present about requiring masks, and then they themselves are not wearing one. And this is, this is, again, these are public press conferences with members of the press, with other officials usually standing right next to them, oftentimes standing right next to officials wearing masks, but they themselves are not wearing one. So I think uh, this is this the coverage of this has been very politically motivated. Uh, the fact of the matter is there there's plenty of hypocrisy to go around, and the fact of the matter is Mike Pence is not requiring anyone to wear a mask. Uh, he doesn't have that authority, and he hasn't tried. And he has his own bias. I'm sure we've talked about the anti-mask bias in Western culture. Uh, that's Europe and the United States, Canada. Uh, they're all part. They're all guilty parties, as far as I'm concerned. But this man has not required anyone to wear a mask, and again, does not have the authority to do so. So then again, we have many governors who are requiring people to wear masks, and they themselves do not wear one. And that's where I think the hypocrisy is, and that's why I'm calling this a daily distraction and saying that this is. This is not news. This is a this is more or less just a, a, a way of discrediting and also uh, trying to humiliate the vice president. Do, do you have any thoughts on that, Pete? Yeah, you you asked me about this, and I definitely think that he should have worn a mask. And but you know, I think this says a lot about Mike Pence's character. I love Mike Pence. I think he's a great leader. I think he was a great governor for Indiana we've all followed him for a long time since he was one of the original tea partiers. He's very conservative. He's also very smart and very pragmatic. 
And I don't know exactly what his, his reasons were. I suppose he thought that the risk was relatively small. And as far as PR goes, it's hard to, it's hard to uh, get good PR when you're wearing a mask. The, the, it almost defeats the purpose of having a photo shoot or a photo op. But at the same time, the fact that he has come back and essentially apologize for it, I think really speaks to his character. Not many politicians like to back down. Not many politicians like to admit that they made a mistake. And this is why we love Mike Pence. This is why I love Mike Pence, because he puts the truth first. He puts integrity first. And I, I think just good on him. Um, I, I did call him out on the Twitter feed and you even sent me a text message like, oh my God, you're going after Mike Pence. And I said, yeah, the mask's issue. You know, it doesn't, doesn't affect how I feel about him. Uh, he, he, his record speaks for itself. He is a true conservative. He is a true believer. He's somebody who has, a, who has great integrity and who uh, does what he says he'll do, which most people in office, uh, they fold like deck chairs. And, and Mike Pence is tough. But in this case, he was flexible enough because he's humble enough. And I wish we had more people like Mike Pence in office. But what do you think about these governors who make these uh, they they do these 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 mask orders that have the force of law uh, that that can require use of force? Uh, we've actually seen that there's a viral video in New York where apparently there was some social distancing issue or something with the mask, and they were it's an ugly video. Which, by the way, that's what it looks like when you actually do these orders when you order people to do things like disperse because they're not supposed to gather more than 10 people or you order them to wear masks. Guess what, folks? You are inviting the police to do these things. And guess what? In New York City, they're not going to support these officers who are enforcing that order. Meanwhile, no. de Blasio is running around without a mask. I don't think I've ever seen him do a press conference with a mask on. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen Cuomo do a, a press conference with a mask on. And he was just talking about how masks... He said, if, if masks are uncomfortable, so what? You know, he whatever. I don't care. Meanwhile, he's not wearing one. His brother wasn't wearing one when he had COVID-19 and was running around and getting into fights with bicyclists. Um, but they're not covering that. That's that's my that's why this is a daily distraction to me, Pete, is because we are not getting equal time, we're not getting equal coverage. And my point is that that Pence neither has the authority, nor do I believe he has been part of the advocacy of forcing people to wear masks. And yet there are people that are forcing people to wear masks, like Governor Cuomo and uh, uh, Mayor de Blasio. And I never see them wear masks during their press conferences. I never, and, and there are other people in the room. And so, and, and they're never called out on that. And that's, that was my whole point of, of why I think this is a daily distraction. Yeah, and and the Chris Cuomo thing is really egregious because yes, his brother is the governor of New York, and here he is on television day after day telling us how to live our lives, and for him not to set the example, especially when he actually had Mike Pence, for the best of my knowledge, does not have coronavirus, and so if he's not wearing a mask, he he's probably not going to spread it. He's probably not infected, and so the risk for him to do this is much lower than it was for Chris Cuomo. And as you said, getting in fights with bikers, that the guy who uh, was riding his bicycle past his house is really a low class move. Who was and, an older man, by the way. And, yes. uh, and 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 Cuomo is like a bodybuilder, basically. I mean, he's right. he's like a roid freak. And mm -hmm. uh, man, I, I won't even get into that anymore. I, I just the, the, again, the reason that I brought this up is because of the spin. And that's what I think the original intention of Daily's distractions always was, was, hey, look over here, everybody. Look over here. Look at the right hand and don't don't look at what the left hand is doing. And that's this is a classic example of that, of governors who are absolute hypocrites, who are forcing people and using the force of law and using uh, the police to enforce these orders. And they themselves don't wear masks and they never get called out for it. The, the, the media never says Oh, this is hypocritical. Why isn't this? Why isn't this mayor or this governor wearing a mask during this press conference? Why isn't he wearing a mask when he goes and visits, a, a, you know, a factory? And they're not, and they haven't been. And it's because, do as I say, not as I do.
Yeah, that's absolutely right. And it's become trite at this point to point out the the left wing bias of the media. It's something that we've lived with our entire lives. And it's been blatant. It's been in your face. It's just gotten worse in recent years. But it's always been there. And for, for them to go after Mike Pence in, in such a way, uh, but to, you know, we've heard crickets about about Chris Cuomo. It, it shows where the, the media's priorities are. 